Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. I'm Andy Batiz, and today I'm gonna to talk to you all about infographs and show you how you can create some really visual, cool looking OneNote pages. So today we're talking aesthetics and we're talking specifically on infographs and how you can create some visual cues or that key information that you wanna represent to really pop out onto your OneNote pages. But first, don't forget, if you like the content Nathan and I put out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you make sure you get notified every time we bring out new content. Infographs are one of my newest favorite things that I recently discovered that I like to integrate into generally my content pages, but also find a way to implement them into my worksheets as well. You can see this page, it looks like there's a lot happening here and that's because I've just gone through and just grabbed a whole heap of some of the infographs that I use in some of our different pages. So it's all just quite random on the type of information is with no real context. But you can see once it's all together, look, there's a lot of color. You can see I'm obviously attracted to the color in the way I create mine. Now I'm not gonna to go too much into how to create an infograph. So I do these in PowerPoint. I do already have a video on our OneNote channel. You can go and look and have a look. I'll put the link in below on how to actually create those. But I often find myself struggling to find something on Google Images that actually meets what needs I have for the key information that I'm trying to display for the students. So anytime I'm teaching something, I try to find what are those key points that the students need to know if it's the types of investments and come up with a infograph that really visually makes that information pop to help the students really see and remember the key information. So I'm just gonna show an example of a page here where the students are learning about economics and economics can be, I guess, quite a complicated topic and there can be a lot to that specific definition. In this page, we're really just looking at what economics is and what an economy is. And we're looking to break down that definition, but I've used a lot of infographs to really grab some of the key information from that. So rather than just having, obviously, the text and bolding, you can create a really cool visual infograph based on what the needs and wants are. And I've even put in some visual cues. So I've sort of created these in PowerPoint and then edited some little pictures. These are some of the illustrations also in PowerPoint that you can find and embed and actually edit those to suit your needs. Same example for goods and services, created some visual appeal and visual examples of what those things are. So you can see it really breaks up the page. It creates a lot more color and appeal. You can choose obviously whatever colors you want. You can see I'm attracted to certain colors that pop up on my page quite regularly, but using that and tables to create a really cool, aesthetically pleasing looking OneNote pages and really getting that key information across to the students because this is what they're gonna be drawn to. And these are the key points that you want them to actually take away. So make sure you have a look at infographs. Like I said, I've got that video below on how to create them and set them up. It's all done in PowerPoint, it's really quick and easy. The hardest thing is really trying to decide which infograph is gonna best suit your needs and whether you wanna have images or not have images or how many things you have or want to display in your infograph. But it is quite flexible and you can generally edit them and add more points and things as you go. So definitely have a look at integrating infographs into your OneNote pages, creates a whole lot more color, a whole lot more visual appeal and really get the students to take away those key learning points.